Well, the, <clears throat> the uh, telephone steering cable broke on the whaler. So uh, that's kind of down. So today I thought I'd do some laundry. I don't know if I really um, mentioned this thing before, but I bought this uh, washing machine oh, a couple years ago after doing laundry by hand for nine months. And about the five month mark, I said I had had it with uh, doing laundry in five gallon buckets. But I got this thing off of Amazon. And I gotta say, it's been great. I mean, I run this thing uh, off of solar and my uh, wind generator, no problem. I had lots of sun out today. So I thought I'd do some laundry. I uh, mentioned wash machine, those of you living on a boat, and I actually store it down in this spot. That was one of the reasons I didn't get it originally, is I didn't have a place to store it, but I figured, like I said, after five month mark, I figured that somehow, some way, I was going to uh, find a place to put one of these things. This thing's been great. Another thing I just recently got is, Blue. Yeah, this is the other thing I got. 3D printer. I wanted one of these for probably close to 10, more than 10 years. Finally bought one. I figured I wasn't getting any younger. And um, about time did I did something I enjoyed. And this thing has been awesome. Absolutely awesome. Making all kinds of little parts right now. I'm printing a, a, a cap for one of my water jugs that's missing. Um, this is the uh, Creality uh, CR6SE. It has a little touch screen display over here. Auto bed leveling, heated bed. Custom Did quite a bit of customizations on this. I think I'll probably make a whole nother video about this thing. And uh, again, run it completely off solar. It's amazing. Um, yeah, we'll talk about that another time. Anyway, thought I'd just let you guys know what was going on today. And here's another little product I uh, just got. Just got this on Amazon. Um, Catherine has one of these. I used it once before, and I kind of like it. Um, normally, I, when I'm doing laundry, I hang up a clothesline all the way, all the way from the front of the boat um, to the bow of the boat, and hold my clothes on with clothespins. And when it's windy, which it's a little windy out today, um, I have a problem with. Uh, I've had clothes blow off of my clothesline and end up having to go dive for them in the water, and I. I think I actually lost a pair of shorts one time. So I thought I'd get this thing, try it, uh, to hang up here in the cockpit where it's a little bit um, out of the wind. So this washer has um, a little wash timer. It's a, it's a mechanical timer, it goes up to 15 minutes. You do have a uh, selector switch, there's a soft setting, standard setting, and then this drain setting is just to drain, drain out the, uh, the bin. And then you have a spin timer setting, which um, never really used that the whole time. But yeah, just take everything out at one side. I try to get as much water out as I can so I can recycle as much as I can. I use about, I have seven gallon jugs and I'll use about a half a jug per wash cycle just to wash. And then what I'll do is, uh, you can see the water gets really dirty. Um, what I'll do then is uh, I'll rinse or excuse me, I'll drain, spin dry this, and this thing, this spin dryer works freaking great. It really uh, gets a lot of the uh, the water out, almost almost dry, completely dry. And uh, that's pretty dirty water. I'll uh, spin dry these, and then I'll put fresh clean water in, put these back in, rinse, rinse, rinse them out, and if the water's fairly clean then I'll do another wash cycle on that and I'll just keep doing that alternating back and forth but I use about two and a half to three gallons of water per time of filling this up so once you got everything over there uh, just go close this close the lid it does come with this little uh, this little cover to, to put over the top uh, I'm not 100% certain really what this thing's supposed to do I've run it with it and without it but Close this, close this, turn it. And the biggest thing is getting it balanced. See, like right now, it's not balanced. You're sitting there hopping around. Turn that off. Or you can just open it up, either or. Um, I'll leave that little cover off. You kind of got to get your your uh, your load balanced in here somewhat. This is probably the most difficult part of the spin cycle. There we go. Here, spinning up and 
water's coming right out into the cockpit, out through the cockpit drain. Try, do try using burn mineral environmentally safe soap. But I mean there's no reason to let this thing spin for five minutes. I usually just spin it till this water starts coming out, stops coming out. Which sorry about this guys. Still coming out. Yeah, time to put my lobster gear away. Season ended like a week ago. No more lobster. close to dry right there. Like I said, you can just open this up, it automatically stops. Take your stuff out, and like I said, super, super, super dry. Just requires uh, a little bit of drying in the sun, and uh, you're good to go. But what I'll do is, I'll put this to the side. This water's pretty dirty, I'll empty this out, and then I'll put in some fresh clean water, rinse these in fresh water, put them back there in there, spin dry them one more time, and then uh, hang them up to dry. All right, so I got some fresh clean water in there and do the leaves back in, close that up. Don't really need long to rinse before. I, I rose, rinse, wash those on a 15 minute cycle. I only, only run it about 10 minutes, it's funny, but um, these were good and dirty. I needed to give them a good clean. But uh, yeah, you can see what kind of goes on in there. And we'll rinse this and put it back over on this side when I feel this is good and rinsed out. Bring it dry again and hang it up. And then, depending on how dirty this water is, I might do another wash cycle, put some soap in here, and uh, do another wash cycle. And then I'll just keep alternating back and forth, trying to conserve on water as much as I can. So I've got, a, um, got these all rinsed out spun dry and take them now try this is the first time i've uh, used this on my boat i don't know how it's going to work out but and this one-handed thing is really uh <laughs> i don't think it's going to cut it so let's see yeah so i've got oops there we go so i've got one on here uh it's a little short the space i have to work with in here i don't know i have to figure this out uh, a little bit better, but we'll try it for now. Um, one thing I was going to mention too was, I don't know, I'm, I'm sure you probably noticed how dirty that water was uh, when I washed these originally. And I got to tell you, this thing, not only is it a labor saver, but there was no way I could wash my clothes by hand as good as this thing does. I mean, you saw all the dirt that thing got out. I would never get my clothes that clean uh, washing them by hand. This thing is freaking great. Uh, I do know, let's see, let me see if I, uh, I got a little few growing pains with this thing. I've just got so much stuff in my cockpit right now for all the projects that's going on, plus storing stuff back here for all these storms we've been going through. But I gotta say, um, this thing's not too bad. I got three pillowcases and a, and a queen size sheet on here at the moment. And it's pretty cool, a lot of clips left over, still more room for more stuff. I do like the fact that this uh, swivels up here. So you can turn this thing around and face it whichever direction you want. And it does have like a little, um, like a little safety clip. So if this were out in the wind, potentially it might uh, keep from unclipping itself. The weight um, puts this little latch up. I think that's a pretty slick little um, design to keep your keep this thing from blowing away in the wind. Uh, the clips seem to be pretty strong. I don't know how long it'll last. I know Catherine's had hers for quite a while. Um, I thought I would give this a try, and, and uh, so far, yeah, I'm kind of liking it. So, doing laundry outside and making parts inside. Um, here's a little, just a little cap that goes uh, underneath the cap for the water jugs to, to plug it off. A little plug cap. I'm going to print another one that's the threaded part, see how that turns out. But this is um, PLA, which is a plastic that's it's 
biodegradable and um, it's made, made mostly out of um, uh, animal, uh, plant material. It's uh, cornstarch. So, yeah, pretty cool. Well, I liked it in the cockpit, but, uh, you know, it's out of the wind. It's also out of the sun and well, the solar dryer is what really gets those dry here quick in the tropics. So, moved her out here. Give it a try. Well, I was really wanting this thing to do good. It's got its use, I think, but I gotta say, um, those line clothespins dry as much faster. The problem is, is these just are all bunched up and they're just not getting sunshine in it as much air on them. So it's taking a lot longer for these to dry than it does when they're out on the clothesline. But you can see it's uh, windy out here and uh, I definitely risk losing uh, when uh, when it's blowing like this. So T's coming along. That's gonna take about four hours from start to finish. I think it's only been about an hour now. But uh, yeah, haven't had this in a long time. Kind of looking forward to it.